Accurately measuring sea levels is seen as essential in a world where the consequences of climate change are debated around the clock. Our understanding of the role that the oceans play in climate and key issues like sea level rise will be improved with a better knowledge of Earth's gravity. Varying estimates of sea level rise from place to place and the role of ocean circulation makes it critical to learn as much as we can about the influence of gravity on the sea surface. The European Space Agency has prepared a special mission to map the gravity field and to derive its impact on the behavior of oceans. This will happen with the launch of GOCHE, the first of a series of new ESA Earth observation satellites. GOCHE stands for Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer. This is the first mission for uh, ESA uh, entirely dedicated to the investigations of an intriguing feature of our planet, which is uh, its gravity field. So the satellite will be able to map the gravity field of our planet with an uh, unprecedented accuracy. GOCHE is the first of six ESA scientific missions to study the Earth from space. These are known as the Earth Explorer missions. The goal is to understand uh, the way in which the Earth system works and the way in which uh, aspects uh, such as ocean circulation help to moderate uh, the climate and help to influence climate variability. And if we can understand uh, how these processes work in greater detail, then our capability is improved uh, to, to model these processes uh, using computer technologies. At the moment, the satellite is undergoing final tests at ESTEC in the Netherlands. GOCHE is due to be launched this summer in Russia using a converted SS-19 ICBM launcher known as ROCOT. GOCHE is a unique satellite that will fly at a relatively low altitude of 250 kilometers. To deal with the drag at that altitude, GOCHE relies on its ion engine. The satellite has to fly as low as possible, so we have designed it such that it can cope to fly at an altitude of 250 kilometers. No uh, European satellite before has flown at this altitude and um, at this altitude we still have uh, some effects due to the atmosphere and it is for this reason that the satellite has this shape. Uh, so it has to be aerodynamic in order to minimize the effect of the air drag and uh, that's why it is elongated. It is about uh, five meters long and just one meter of diameter and uh, it looks more like a space plane than uh, actually a satellite. At the heart of the satellite is an instrument called the gradiometer, which is the first of its kind to be flown in space. The gradiometer is able to sense the pull of the Earth and generates data on subtle changes in the gravity field. GOCHE will circulate the Earth in a fixed polar orbit. The rotation of our planet enables it to create a map of the gravity field in a period of 20 to 30 months. Uh, thanks to the measurements uh, made by the satellite, we will be able to uh, make a very accurate uh, model of the Earth's gravity field. Associated to this model, uh, we, there is uh, an imaginary surface which is called the geoid, which corresponds to the equipotential surface of the gravity field. And this uh, uh, surface is used as a reference for measurements of heights and including measurements of uh, sea level heights. And therefore, if we have a very precise uh, geoid, then we will know indeed uh, what, whether the sea uh, level is rising every year and by how much. Goche's gravity measurements are unparalleled. Its data will have many uses, like helping scientists develop more accurate models for climate change, better estimates of the impact of polar ice sheet melt on sea level, and better understanding of the interior of the Earth, such as in regions of earthquakes and volcanic activity. Goche is a mission that deals with a specific issue of intense scientific interest, making it a core mission in ESA's Earth Explorer program. Other missions in the coming years address climate change and the water cycle. This new chapter that we see opening with the launch of Gochi uh, demonstrates the potential uh, ESA has to contribute on the, the world scene uh, in Earth observation. And I think uh, what we have is a palette of extremely exciting new scientific missions. Goche embodies the start of a completely new phase for ESA activities, seeking to help us better understand the impact that human activity has on our planet. <laughs>